Hey! Hey! It's all about the head twists. It's his way of conniving us into loving him. Hey guys, welcome back to our housewarming series. We are making our third recipe tonight and we are doing chocolate waffles. My personal favorite because we get to use my housewarming gift to myself, the waffle iron. Matt didn't even get it for me. I actually ordered it myself, got it, and then he was like, oh, we have a waffle iron. I was like, yeah, this was supposed to be what you were, so everyone was telling you, get this for Mega. She's a keeper. Well, guess what? I'm keeping myself. We perfected a delicious waffle. So we wanted to make them for our housewarming series. We're gonna eat them for dinner. Maybe make some whipped cream. I like my sugar-free maple syrup. It's gonna be a hell of a dinner. All right, to make these waffles extra chocolatey, we are going the mile, the extra mile, with cocoa powder and some unsweetened baker's chocolate. So let's first mix our dry ingredients. One fourth cup cocoa powder, one fourth cup coconut flour, one teaspoon baking powder, and some salt. Give that a quick mix. Set your dry ingredients aside. Now on to our wet ingredients. We are going to start with four ounces of cream cheese. We're gonna microwave it for about 20 seconds. See? <gasps> Good boy! And then we're just gonna give it a quick beating with the mixer. Next, we're gonna add four eggs and 40 drops of stevia. That'll give it the perfect sweetness. And then we're gonna mix it again. Perfect. Now we are going to microwave our baker's chocolate and we're going to do that with the addition of two tablespoons of butter. I started with 30 seconds for microwaving and I'm gonna do it in bursts of 30 seconds until it's melted. You don't wanna burn the chocolate. While that's microwaving, we're gonna add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. And mix. When melting the baker chocolate, you definitely want the fat aspect. Butter is your best bet because that helps with the chocolate to melt. It won't melt on its own if you just microwave it. We gave it 10 more seconds. That's 40 seconds total in the microwave. And that is liquid gold, guys. So the last thing is to drizzle your liquid gold into your batter mixture. Oh my goodness. And last mix. You can also leave out the baker's chocolate. We just like to get as indulgent as possible. So if you do that, still add the butter or you can do coconut oil, the two tablespoons. Waffle iron is officially on, it's getting ready. And I don't think I mentioned, this batter will make, should make four large waffles. So that's four for me, zero for Matt. Look at her eye, look at how bad it is. Oh my princess. Should I just feed her, feed her to the beast? He just wants to kiss her. Waffle iron's ready. Let's do this. Ooh. We're gonna give it some coconut oil spray. I get nervous he's gonna pee everywhere. You gotta have all eyes on a puppy. Julius, come. And the, isn't she a beauty? 
We are going to finish making the rest of the waffles and then we'll see you back for dinner time. for dinner we just took our pictures and the spread is divine looking big boy waffles yeah big boy waffles i'm, be I'm becoming a big good job. i'm becoming a big boy trying to get those gains um i crunched the numbers on these this size waffle right here is about five net carbs 330 calories and you might have seen here we got the dream butter back in play. And I'm probably really sweaty because we have to turn off the air conditioning when we film videos. And I put on sweaters for some reason in Hotlanta. So my mom always, she's like, is it as hot as they say Hotlanta? I'm like, yeah. That's what she said. No, it's... Get in here. Have you, you tried this yesterday, right? These waffles? Oh, yeah, I did for sure. You're going... So good. So we got whipped cream, basically just... We did. Did you put all the whipped cream? No, right? Mm-mm. Just a dollop. So dream butter is cashews, almonds, mm. and coconut oil. And it smells so like rich and chocolatey. And cocoa powder. And we got some meal prep bacon here too. Cheers. One sec. Let me get some dream butter on here. I like saying dream butter as much as possible. I was just about to possible. say he's gonna. He said it like seventeen hundred times at least today. You're my dream butter. Don't cheers with the butter though. Mmm. Oh man, woo! Them some good waffles. That is a really good waffle consistency. It is. It's perfect texture. It's We super got the rich. sweetness right. Um, yeah. Last time it was a little not sweet enough. Comment below if you guys make these um, as pancakes. Curious to know how they turn out. I think they'll be fine. I think they'd be great actually. Just um, go low temperature because you don't want you don't want chocolate to get burned or it tastes pretty bad. Yeah, it gets more bitter. Um, but definitely these make these. These are great. So we've been in Atlanta for quite a bit now. So it's housewarming because we want to make the series and these are like things we would make for just our normal day to day. Mm -hmm. But we love Atlanta. We're so, so happy nice. we picked it. Love our apartment a lot. Yeah. I mean, we're in this nice sunroom we have here for pictures. Look at just how good the lighting is right now. Yeah. I, I think it's good. It's like 4 p.m. too. Yeah. Yeah, we can take pictures at like 7 p.m., which mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah. In Philadelphia, it was like 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It was like a three-hour window. It was a really big rush to like get everything in, and then you kind of just mosey around the rest of the day. We also lived in a dungeon that yeah. might have something to do with it. But yeah, just the vibe here is just more productive. We're getting stuff done. We will be back again, right? With another house. You have morning. the next one planned, right? Yes. What is it? I'm probably going to have to make it. You can help out in the kitchen because it's steak. And Matt tends to just hit well done every time. I do not hit well done. I hit medium well on accident sometimes. That's that's too well when you have a nice quality meat from Butcher Box. True. So we're going to get some rare steak on the table next time. So definitely come back for that. If you're into blood. We'll show you exactly how to cook it, too. I have a perfect method. Do Hopefully, you? What's your method? The flipping back and forth. Yeah. And then the rubbing of the garlic. There's two philosophies on cooking steaks, I've learned. You go one side, then the other, then you're done. Or the flip back and forth. I was always against the constant flipping, but I think it's so the best I. way. Yep. I think it's the best. Yeah, the juices. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk. Okay. We'll talk later. All right. We'll see you guys. We're going to enjoy our dinner. You went to kiss the waffle. No, I didn't. You were like... <laughs>